<laughs> you can kind of tell I've given up with the high def, high, high def, good lightning noise and stuff. <laughs> About 20 years ago, me and my friends, well, you know, jackass, and it's a, uh, it's crisp, relevant stuff. CKY and Jackass movies, you know, from about 1999 to 2004, and everyone was up at the time was doing them, including me and my friends. <clears throat> we made jack shit, which, if you've been on my channel for a little while now. You've probably had um, an idea about. There might be some uh, noise over the sound because the fans are in the background. It is it's far too hot to not have that one. And we recorded. Um, We recorded quite a bit of footage. These are all the original tapes. No, they're not all labelled. There's a few more, so. <laughs> These are all hour to two hour tapes, all full, which just us getting drunk doing dumb shit. I'm trying to get watch these nowadays. These are various versions of high eight, high eight digital, digital eight. Couldn't tell you what the difference was. Because back then we didn't really have a clue what we were doing. We didn't have the internet at the time. It was just on this tape there are me being set on fire several times. My friend on a moving bus. Uh, we did a lot of dumb shit, and I wanted to get this digitised. So I've got a guy now who, for a very good price, digitised these to me, and he said it was very, very difficult, but he kept doing it. So we got all of this onto these. Now I have and into the digitized version. Already, but I wanted somewhere to keep the D the D's. <laughs> so I thought I would just talk about it slowly. Whilst I put the DVDs into this case. But for now, 20 years ago, these all came with their own uh, cases, but they've been kept in storage in a box between myself and Wayne who's been on the channel before the bold guy in a dozen cities over 20 years in a dozen ways so I don't think this is going to be the greatest quality definitely not but all that matters is that they can keep the DVD safe and they to a good start. So, me and Wayne, we filmed uh, how many did we do? We did two movies. Um, yeah, we did two movies. Both hour, hour and a half each. Um, 
fully, so I'm doing something else online as well, fully um, edited with music and uh, all that larky. Um, the first one, jack shit one, is not the greatest quality, <laughs> mainly because when we, we did long play, we didn't really know anything about definition, standard, HD, anything like that. We just went in complete amateurs. And as we, um, I'm just trying to get them in whatever. As we um, were learning, we were more worried about getting money's worth out of the switch. Um, sure. Get our money's worth out of the videos. So we recorded everything on long play. So we got a shit ton more. Um, I don't know. It's upside down, isn't it? We got a shit ton more um, content out of it all, but that came at the cost of quality. And then when we uploaded it, how does this work? Like, seriously? Oh, okay. And then when we uploaded it, we were. I was running a laptop, he was running a computer with a fairly small hard drive. It's to be both sides, is it? I can't tell. <laughs> well, it was cheap for a reason, I feel. Um, and we uploaded it in, I think it was like 320 rather than 480, which was the definition at the time. And then when we edited it, I say we, he did most of it. It's missing like every tenth frame or something, so when you're watching it, it just kind of cuts out <laughs> randomly. It's quite funny. Like you've got entire words which just <laughs> are missed or skipped. But we put that onto VHS at the end of 2003, and we sold what the. And we sold nearly 50 copies, but to make the copies, we just had two video recorders and we just record one onto the other. So for each copy made, it went to, it had to run through the, the main one. Uh, okay, it's been a bit worse since now. Sides? It is meant to go both sides. Okay. Now I think I'm missing some tapes. You've got GS1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, uh, yeah, we did quite well. It cost us about £3,000 altogether. <laughs> Which we did not get back. I think we sold the videos uh, for about five or a pop. And uh, we did quite well. And then we decided that after we released it, we wanted to do another one. So this one was called Jack Ship 2. Original name, eh? And it was 
Jesus tubes. Much better quality. We figured out the differences in the long play. Uh, I think we we're still a bit guilty of it here and there. But um, the quality was just better in general. We had better ideas, still the same cameras, um, better skits. We did a few of those. Um, it was just better in general. However, when we were filming it, the Jack Shit 1 was basically just 2003. Jack Shit 2 was 2004, 5, and summer 6. In 2006, the group kind of, well, lots of mates kind of separated. You know, sometimes amicably, sometimes just moving on to jobs, family, and stuff. And we didn't get the final edit of Jack Shit 2 until. like mid-2008 by which point most people have moved on so actually very few people that are actually in the, the videos have actually seen it which is a shame and uh, like I'm so lucky to at my time of life like have that going through these CDs and stuff like that you know, I was 20, I was on, what, 2003, 20. You know, I've still got so much of my, a lot of my youth and friends and the stupid things we did. But I've got it all on video. And uh, I know with the advent of the smart camera. Oh, yeah, definitely run out of room there. That's not been told, 48, but I don't think it's going. With the advent of the smart camera, uh, Smart, smartphone, sorry. You know, you've got a lot of people recording a lot of stuff, but you know. And what we recorded wasn't really any different to, you know, what other people were doing, uh, jackass wise. Theirs was probably better, but I don't think a lot of people did much editing with it, you know, and made them higher. I'd like to upload it for everyone to see. A lot of the stuff we did was illegal. Uh, for one example, <laughs> there's a police station in our centre road. And just behind it, there's a bridge. So my friend ate an entire loaf of... We were at the pub first. My friend ate an entire loaf of brown bread. We set up <laughs> a big cardboard target, you know, with the balls on. And then he shat off the bridge. <laughs> he <laughs> onto this target. <laughs> there was another time when, again, near the police station. Because they didn't really seem to care back then. Like, there was more often, but... <laughs> and, then, and then there was the other one where... Uh, we got my mate into the gimp mask, handcuffed. And just like these leather pants. <laughs> and we pulled up outside a shop. And it was a shop I worked in at the time. So I went upstairs to film out the staff room. And we got him out. <laughs> and it was, the shop was opposite a really busy pub. It was a Friday night. <laughs> so he, they pulled up outside the pub. We had someone sat down in the pub. The camera didn't work from their point of view, unfortunately. But um, <laughs> he beeped and they opened the back of the car automatically. And uh, <laughs> our mate came away. He got out in his gym suit, nothing else, barefoot, you know, just, just, just underwear, gimp mask, and it was uh, handcuffs up. And he's just running around on the street for a couple of minutes. <laughs> We run outside, he bombs it down the road <laughs> where we had. <laughs> oh, this is all so stupid, but where we had um, the car that dropped him off waiting <laughs> to pick him up. Oh, Jesus Christ. So much fun, man. So much fun. And I'm missing a couple of discs. I think they still haven't been done yet. But yeah. <laughs> Just, um, 
if I I've, now I've got all the original footage, I might see if like well, I mean this is I could probably yell into red but uh, chat, but the problem is now is that if I put it up, like one of the guys in it is a really high up software developer. Uh, one's a manager of a chain restaurant, doing rather well for himself. Uh, one is a chartered accountant uh, and a partner <laughs> with three kids. <laughs> and we got videos of him smashed and naked, you know? We can't. And with the internet age, it was funny at the time, but now there's actually consequences for these things, you know? For God's sake, if it's like someone's tweet from 15 years ago, or whatever it is, can now ruin someone's career when they were a teenage edgelord. <coughs> the shit we got here. <laughs> it was just, you know, completely ruined. So, there's a lot of stuff that won't see the site today because the consequences that are there now but weren't 20 years ago are completely, completely insane. So, only one, two, three, we're missing a couple of so, yeah. so. <laughs> that was that. Uh, but my friend Wayne has less of a ego. I have very little to lose. I'm a, for God's sake, all I am is a security guard you now. <laughs> it's not like I've got a career to lose there. I can get a job anyway. But, and. Wayne doesn't really have any, uh, how do we say it? We were very proud of the shelf we did, even how dumb it was, like, and what we accomplished and stuff. Very proud. So. That's that. Okay, that does fit. So I'm missing a couple. Seven quid, and you can't complain too much. Thank you for watching. I hope they found this at least vaguely relaxing. Maybe we'll see. Goodbye.